talk about a brand new Robinhood feature called the options watch list that Robinhood just launched. This is a really useful feature, especially for beginners, because this basically allows you to paper trade options. A lot of people that use Robinhood are beginners. They don't really know about options. And so with this feature, you'll be able to learn more about options without actually risking real money when you're starting. It'll let you practice trading options without again using your real money. So remember, before you ever enter any options trade, please make sure you know how to close it. I'll pin a video in the comment section below where I show you guys how to close out of any options trade. Now, how do we find this new feature firstly? So I'm sure there's many different ways to get to this new feature on Robinhood. I'm gonna show you the way that I use to get to this feature very quickly. So go to any stock that has options available for that stock. So for example, I'm on AMD right now and AMD has options. So I'm, I'm now that I'm on AMD here, I can go into the options here for the stock, or again, it could be any other stock that has options available. So remember, on the right here, there's this box that basically is where, you know, any options that you select appear. Right underneath this box, you should see another box here. This box should say introducing options watch list. So discover options and track their performance without trading, right? So let's take a look here. I'm going to click on learn more. And let's first take a quick look here at what is going on here. So find your way with watch list. So again, this is called the options watch list. Options can be vast and complicated. We designed options watch list to help you navigate these investments. So number one, grow your experience, try trading strategies and learn the fundamentals of options before you embark on a trade. So again, basically you can try different strategies and I'll show you, I'll show you guys how you would do that. And you can basically, again, practice options trading, right? Maybe you're using some sort of technical analysis to test if, you know, if, if it works and you want to test that on options. You can do that now with this feature. Number two, discover key insights, see the hypothetical total and daily returns of any contract so you can learn the waters and gauge risks so you can keep track of, you know, how much you could have potentially made or lost if you would have entered the trade. And then number three, head toward watch list. You can now add any contract to your watch list by double tapping in the chain or from the contract detail page. And so I'll show you guys how to do that here. So with that being said, let's go over to my current watch list right now. Let's take a look at what this looks like here. So I'm gonna go to view watch list. And when you click on view watch list, it takes you to the options watch list. Right under that, it says that I have three active contracts right now. So I have a call that I've sold on DDD, I have a call, a call that I bought on DDD, and then I have a call that I bought on GOOGL. So I'm gonna go over to one of these options here so that we can go through it and take a look at what it looks like and how you would read through one of these options on the options watch list. But before going any further, guys, I'd like to introduce today's sponsor, Weeble. So right now you can get five free stocks valued up to $9,600 when you open and fund a new account by using the link in the description below. And you can also get $5 of crypto by completing a minimum $1 crypto trade on Weeble. So again, I'll put a link to Weeble in the description below, guys. Go ahead and check it out. Now, with that being said, let's jump into one of these options on my options watch list. So let's go over to Google here. So I'm going to click on it. And so this is what an option on the options watch list will look like. Let's take a look here. And it's going to look very similar to it when you enter a real options trade here. So you got to be very careful with that. You don't want to get, you know, options on the options watch list confused with a real options trade. Okay, so let's take a look here. So firstly, it does give you this right here that says watch list, basically telling you that this is part of your options watch list here. Now, the way you read it is very similar to regular options, right? We have our ticker symbol, G-O-O-G-L. We have our strike for this option, $2,780. We have the type, this is a call option. And then we have the current price, which is one thirty-five. And if you scroll down, this will tell you watch list position. So you know this is an option on the options watch list. Track how this option has performed since you've added it to your watch list. You can hover or click on this learn more here as well to learn more about it. But let's actually just go through this here very quickly together. So uh, let's start over here on the right. So down here, cost when added, 125. So this tells you 
how much this option was worth at the time, the exact time that you added this to your watch list. So when I added this not too long ago, it was 125 here. It tells you what date you added this to your options watch list. So I added this on March 3rd, which was today. I added it a little bit earlier today. It gives me the break even price for the option. And it tells me how many contracts I have. I have one. And then it gives me my expiration date for this option, which is March 4th here, which is tomorrow. Then on the left here, we get our market value, how much this option is currently worth right now. So right now it's worth 135. Same thing with current price, right? It's 135. Current price of the stock, 2,685. Today's return up 10, $13, so up 10%. And then total return is gonna be the same since again, I added this option here today. So again, since the cost when I added this was 125 and right now it's 138, my hypothetical return is around 13, $15. So again, this allows me to basically track this option and see how I would have done had I really purchased this call option with real money here, right? If I would have actually really purchased this, I would be up $15 right now. So as you can see, this is very useful because you can basically practice trading options now on here and keep track of all of it. Robinhood will keep track of it all here without again, risking real money here. So it's very, very useful here. So again, this is how you would read an option on the options watch list. Now, one other thing I wanna quickly show you guys here is if I go back to the options for the stock uh, that I'm you know, currently trading options on the options watch list with, you can actually know if one of these options has been added to your options watch list. Because if I scroll up to that particular option that I had bought at the $2,780 strike, you will see that it gets denoted by a check mark, right? So next to the strike price, you will see a check mark. And so again, this is very useful here because if I'm scrolling through these options, I can right away know, hey, this is the option that I added to my options watch list. Uh, and this is very handy again so that you don't get confused between you know, options that you've actually really purchased versus options that you've just added to your options watch list. So it does look like, again, it gets denoted uh, with this check mark here, it lets you know right away, hey, this is an option that I've added to my options watch list. Now, with that being said, how do I add a new option to my options watch list? So let's take a look at how we would do that here. So let's say I want to practice trading options on SPY, right? I'm going to go over to SPY. And then again, I'm going to go into the options here for this ETF. So I'm going to go into SPY here. And then again, let's say I want to just practice trading options on SPY. Maybe I have some sort of you know, technical analysis strategy that I want to use or something else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to practice using this. Uh, but again, using this, the options watch list without actually buying or selling real options here and risking real money. So what I can do here then is again, very similar. You're going to start off how you normally would when you're purchasing or selling real options. So let's say I'm looking at the March 7th expiration date. And again, you can, you know, depending on what strategy or how you're feeling about the stock, you know, you can do calls, you can do puts, someone go to puts. And then again, depending on, you know, the strategy you're trying to test out, you can buy the put, you can sell the put. Let's say we wanted to sell a put here on SPY and uh, test this out here. So here's what we would do. So let's say I want to sell a put on SPY expiring March 7th. Let's say I wanted to choose the strike at the $430. So uh, this $430 strike option. So let's say I wanted to sell this put. How would I sell this put? Uh, again, using the options watch list, right? Basically to more so practice here. So what you would do on the desktop, okay? On, on the phone, on the mobile app, you wanna double click the option. So it's very easy on the mobile app. You just double click it. But here on desktop app, you would click on it to expand the option right and again this lets you see the greeks and all these other things but actually if you scroll down further there is now this new button down here on the left that'll say add to watch list and so that's what you're going to click now you're going to go ahead and click on add to watch list here so once i click on add to watch list it'll add it here and i can go to view watch list now and we can take a look at my new option that I just added to the options watch list. So let's take a look here at this new option here. Um, and ultimately, again, 
Uh, this is going to be very useful for anybody who's looking to, you know, first practice trading options without having to just jump in and, you know, potentially risk real money here. So let's take a look here. So again, as you can see now, I have four active contracts because I just added this SPY put here at the $430 strike. This tells me my position. I sold this put. This put expires on March 7th. Here's the price and then the price change. So let's take a look here. So I'm going to click on it. And again, let's just quickly take a look, make sure that this makes sense here to you guys and that it actually worked here for us. So again, when I went ahead and sold this put, I got $271, it looks like. Uh, and then right now it's worth about $298, $303 or so. Uh, so I'm actually down $30 already, as you can see, right? Which again is a relief that I'm using options watch list and not real money because you know, I'd instantly be down 30, $20, it looks like. So uh, again, I already went through how you would read this, guys. But again, here is my new option added to my options watch list. And now I can take a look at it and keep track of it, right? And again, testing out different strategies here if I want to, or just, you know, getting to learn how options work and how the different Greeks will affect the, the options, stuff like that. So again, very useful uh, feature here, I would think, for you guys, for everybody, and even in myself. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to using uh, this uh, feature more. Now, let's take a look here at a couple of other things. So how would we practice different strategies, right? How would we uh, practice different strategies like spreads, for example, debit spreads, credit spreads? Uh, let's take a look at how we would do that. Now, one, one last thing actually before I get into that, guys. One last thing I want to mention is that if you go back to, again, a stock where you've you're trading options and you're adding them to your options watch list. One other thing I do want to mention is that if you go back into the options and you look for that particular option, so let's take a look here at the put that I just sold. If I go to sell put here and I find that put I just sold, remember it does get denoted by this uh, check mark here. If I click on it to expand it again, you can actually also remove the, uh, the remove that option from your watch list. So I can actually remove this here right now. And now it's gone from my watch list. So that's just another kind of thing I just want to quickly mention there. Uh, again, how to navigate this uh, new feature here. But let's talk about how you would enter, for example, debit spreads, credit spreads, from what I can tell at least. Maybe there's a better way here, but here's one way you can definitely do this. So uh, remember, I showed you guys here on my options watch list that I had two other options besides the Google one. I have this DDD call that I sold and I have this DD call that I bought. Now, usually, right, if you enter these two together in one transaction, uh, this would be a bear call spread, right? This is a bear call spread. I sold a call expiring on, the, on March 4th, and then I bought a call with a higher strike expiring the same day. This is a bear call spread, right? And so basically, if you want to practice, for example, bear call spreads or you know, debit spreads, any credit spread, things like that, even other spreads, you can basically just go ahead and enter each transaction separately, like I did here. I did the, I, I sold the call, and then I bought the call right away, right after. And then basically, uh, at the end, you can just basically total, each, you know, total them up together and see what your net, you know, return would have been. So for example, here, if I go to the, the call that I bought first here, I'm gonna click on this. If I go to the call that I bought here for this, uh, 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 what is this? this is a call here. Let's take a look here at how much this is worth or what my total return is here on this one so far. So on this call particular, as you can see, uh, when I purchased it, cost when added, it was three bucks. Now it's worth $2. So my total return on this is minus one. Now, if I go back to the other one, right, because I also uh, sold this call, if I click on this call that I sold here, and I take a look at my total return. Let's take a look at what this says here now. So on this one, credit when added was $49. Now it's worth $8. So I'm up $41. So here I'm up $41. Here I'm down $1. So if I total these two together, what does that tell me? It means if I would have entered these two together, which would have been a better call spread, which is a bearish strategy, and DDD is down today, I would be up $2. 
you know, 40, I would have, I would be up currently $40 or so, right? Because we're just adding the total returns here. Total return for this one is 41. If I closed out of this one right now, I'd get, I'd make 41 on it. If I closed out of this one right now, I'd lose $1 on it. So combine them together would be net profit of $40. And that makes sense because again, uh, this is basically a bear call spread that I'm entering here, except I just, you know, the, 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 the options aren't together. Uh, but we can basically, you know, kind of pretend that we did enter them together. And so basically we have a bear call spread here and that's a bearish strategy. DDD is down today. And so again, testing it, I would, I would, I would be up about 40 bucks right now. Had I really entered this bear call spread using, you know, real money instead of using the options watch list. So again, very useful tool to use here, guys. Let me know if you guys plan on using this tool and what you think about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time.